So I think the opportunities in the market, where you really see the best opportunities, is when not everyone thinks the same, right? That drives the opportunity, because if everyone's thinking the same, then everyone is piling money into a certain thing, or a certain asset class, or a certain angle, a certain strategy, right? And that inflates prices, right? I think at the moment we're at a bit of a, 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 an impasse in the market where I don't personally believe there'll be big crashes in the market. However, there'll be different hotspots, different areas of opportunity. For example, if a portfolio landlord had a load of fixed rate mortgages finishing up in three months time, they will act differently in the market and have a different view to the market than people that are coming off fixed rates in three years time right so you might see opportunity to see um, to see motivated sellers to get people to to, to, to buy off people who are feeling uh, feeling the sort of the impact of those market conditions so I think that's that's one thing and not everyone's thinking the same and not everyone's affected in the same way so so you have to sort of look at those and that's just one opportunity I believe that development property development in any market is a strong uh, activity that adds value to property and enables many investors many investors to build products that they will end up keeping right and they grow their portfolio by buying something adding value to it tailoring for the market that they want to uh, focus on and therefore outperforming the market because they're thinking about it smarter right I think and, and we had a panel on that just uh, earlier uh, where it was, it was a discussion on the landlord developer, right? And that is a big trend we see in the market where more investors are becoming developers and building their own product um, and, and keeping that for a long time.